here's everything that it comes with. All your mounting hardware, the wires, the rear camera there as you see, and the installation kit. I decided to install this on the inside. This can also be installed on the outside and be also used as a backup camera. And that's what the red wire is for. I was actually able to cut that off because I'm only using this for a rear cam. Now I'm actually doing a very just professional job here, making sure that the waterproofing of the vehicle is not compromised. So I'm actually going to be wiring this through the wiring harness into the cabin as you can see here because this is indeed a hatch. And then we're just gonna follow the seams along here as you'll see. And I'm gonna detail that here on this Kia Sorento. That blue tool there will help you to tuck the wires in. Every car has headliner and where headliner meets with different parts, you can tuck wires in. As you can see here, I'm just streamlining it across the roof line here. They do give you plenty of wire and you can tuck in the wire as I did in the rear there. I tucked in the extra wire. Here I am tucking it into the weather stripping here. Here's another gap, perfect opportunity to tuck wire in there. Again, using that blue tool. Now you do get Wi-Fi capabilities with this as well. Here is the finished product right through. You don't see any wires whatsoever. And I'm just showing you the final wiring job that I did here. And there's the camera up front. Was able to put that behind the mirror. So you're gonna get two plugs. One is going to go to the rear camera, which is the one that I showed you. And the other one is to the power, which I ran simply on the other side. A much shorter destination to your 12 volt lighter, cigarette lighter, uh, extend, uh, extension, whatever you wanna call it, the power source. So here's the camera here. Uh, it does come with the suction mount too. It actually works very well because it does have a locking mechanism so it actually sucks into the windshield. And there is the picture. So you can do front and rear. You can just do the front if you want. There's just the rear. And you get the options there. Here's what it looks like when you turn on the camera itself. I love the fact that they give you a 64 gigabyte memory card. I repeat that comes included and the reason why I like that so much is because most cameras out there do not include the memory card which is a total bummer I'm so glad that they actually were able to include that so this is literally a take it out of the box plug and play system here I'm going to show you you can actually look at your recordings through the camera itself you can do the settings if you'd like you could also do it through the app also, you could do it through the memory card, which is on the side as well. You just take it out and you can plug it into uh, your computer if you wish. Very just easy to maneuver through the controls. I'm actually flipping through some video here. You can actually play it on the spot. So if you got into an accident, God forbid, you could actually play it for the officer right then and there. You don't have to log into an app if you don't wish, if you don't have a connection. And you can also fast forward. Here it is at night. Um, I realized that I needed a little bit of adjustment, so you just simply turn the screws on each side and you can actually swivel the camera up and down. This is the sound of the cabin. So this is what you would hear inside of the car. So it does give you some night vision because the sky wasn't that light it was actually pretty pitch black. Here's some Christmas decorations here that I'm driving by. And here's that side-by-side -side footage. Same exact street, same exact location. One's at night on the left, obviously, and the one on the right is during the day. Just to show you the difference between both daytime and nighttime, which is really important. So I have to say, not all cameras give you the ability to do that. This one here, it's so crisp that it gives you that ability to do so. Therefore, you could also read license plate numbers, which I can't show here uh, due to the review and Amazon's privacy policy. But rest assured, if I could, if you could see street signs, you could see license plate numbers as well. Here's the rear camera. 
This one here is 1080, so it's high def. Doesn't give you the um, as much of the nighttime enhancement as the 4K, but it is a really good picture, I have to admit. And here is the rear camera in the daytime, nice and crisp. That's pretty standard in the camera industry, at least for dash cams. Again, the clarity of the rear camera. Highly, highly recommend this camera indeed.